Because you were talking, yeah. and your voice seemed to come out of the speaker. And when you put the mic on the other geezer, it just sounded like he was talking. It sounded like the speaker. No, I'm just checking, observing what you guys are all talking about. You, you can step in the ring, no problem. True. No, but why do you believe it's true? Because I believe uh, that uh, it's the word of God. Why do you believe that? Because I do. I challenge anyone to bring a superior way of life than Islam. Man with that mic. Yeah, that's me. It looked to me though, you're switching the mic off when you put on the other geezer, but that might just be me and you have a loud voice. Just listening, man. Observing what you guys got there. No, on the video I say it. Because you were talking yeah. and your voice seemed to come out of the speaker. And when you put the mic on the other geezer, it just sounded like he was talking. It sounded like the speaker. Uh, shady tactic that one. Maybe. So what's the good news? What, what are you here for? No, I'm just checking, observing what you guys are all talking about. I was I was challenging the um, you, you can step in the ring, no problem. We were discussing the, the gospel of Matthew and whether the author of the gospel can be relied upon. And if the author of the gospel um, is sound, found to be a liar or uh, mistaken, then uh, it can't be relied upon, nor can it be the inspiration from the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit wouldn't lie. Would you agree with that? So uh, we were discussing it and we got to a little bit of a stalemate. Maybe you can uh, elaborate well, a little bit more. This is Hamza's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, very soon. I'm going to observe uh, first and see Yeah, yeah. Well, let me okay. just leave you with the question, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Okay. How do you understand uh, the prophecy about the sign of Jonah and the three days and the three nights? How do you understand that? Where the maths doesn't add up to the, what Jesus apparently uh, prophesies. You, how do you feel? That, that uh, um, well, we, we came to the conclusion we've got... Uh, Three days and two nights. We can't find three nights. Okay. And because Jesus was quite specific with the three days and three nights, we have to question, was this uh, prophecy actually said? Then when we look at the reaction of the disciples when the women came after the tomb, and they weren't acting in a way that they were awaiting this. So my question would be, why do you believe, how do you reconcile this? Yeah. I know you believe it, yeah. but that doesn't mean it's true. Yes, I know. But you why don't do you believe, believe it's it? true? No, but why do you believe it's true? Because I believe uh, that uh, it's the word of God. Why do you believe that? Because I do. So you don't just believe it. Why do you believe in the Quran? Well, no, no, no. The, and the other thing we said when we discussed this issue as well is don't mention the Quran or Islam. The reason being, they don't help you understanding your own uh, sure. gospels, and it's just a red herring. Sure. All right. And I, I said to the other Christian I was speaking to, just imagine I'm an agnostic. Okay, I'm not an, I'm not a Muslim. I don't have the Quran to stand on. I'm not, I'm not professing anything. I've not no preconceived ideas. I just want you to show me why you believe yeah, what you're reading is reliable. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying. To, so I'm, I'm walking around. I'm gonna right. be here. All right. And you'll, you'll, I'll, I'll come hunt you down. Don't again. worry. Okay, I'm gonna be here. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna be preaching and sharing the word. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, like I'm sure I'll interrupt you at some point. How long have you been a Muslim? Um, coming up 16 years now. 16 years in October. How long have so you been a Christian? Your, 21. 21. How old are you now? 37. So about 16. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. How's it, how's it going for you? Next level, man. I, I, I challenge anyone, I, I come to the park when I do, I challenge anyone to bring a superior way of life than Islam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone. Cleaner, healthier living, bring it. Awesome. I don't see any. Right. Bring any way of life that marries up with my... Um, criteria for how a creator of the heavens and earth should be. How did you become a Muslim? What's your story? I said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. No, I mean, what, <laughs> no, what, no, what, no, what no. happened? Like, what to be honest with you, my story's long. If you, I've got a YouTube channel, EF Dawa. If you go on there, you can see the full thing. EF Dawa. Yeah. One EF thing Dawah. Christians did say to me that, oh, if, if Christians came to you first, you'd have become a Christian. But I told them straight, I would never fall for that. I could never fall for that idea. Yeah? Well, I but like I say, well, story as well. You know? yeah. We all have a story. Of yeah. But one thing I would say about stories and the reasons why, make sure it's not just based on experience. Yes. Don't, don't think you've seen something, you heard something, you had a vision of something, you dreamt something, yeah? Because this is all methods of deception. Because your eyes, your hearing, your senses can all be fooled, yeah? It's got to be reasoned. We're in the 21st century here. We don't believe Thor strikes the clouds with his hammer and causes thunder and lightning, yeah? We reason in this day and age. This is why Thor no longer exists. This is why Odin no longer exists. Because we've reasoned past that. See, when someone believes something, they have a right to believe it, 
correct, okay? And they don't even need to have evidence for what they believe, yeah, yeah. but they need a reason. Now, if that reason is questioned and it seems to be illogical or irrational and doesn't make any sense, and you can show that it's illogical, irrational, doesn't make any sense, and they continue to hold that belief, they're now delusional. They're not delusional. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I asked you why you believe what you believe, and you said, just do. It don't work that way. You weren't born well, believing. I mean, I have reasons. I'm just, I just want to observe. I know. I'd love to hear those reasons. David, but you'll, you'll see me soon. Shut David, up, David, when you're in Toronto... We know each other from Toronto. When yeah, you're in Toronto, he's, he's that. a so master from Toronto. Oh, fantastic. following me all around. Have he wants to debate. Now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. When you're in Toronto on Dunda Square, preaching against Islam and Muslims on the megaphone, he does this okay, every okay. week. I've seen please, it on YouTube. Yeah, please cut to the chase and, and ask him the questions that you have about Islam and Muslims. What are the things you preach about? What are the things? What are the things you preach about in Toronto? No, I don't have questions. You don't have any. What, what are your comments about Islam? I don't what believe the, in it. What, but, what, are, what are the but, things you say? Of course I don't. I don't agree with it. I've seen, I've seen his he second rate. Videos. I've seen his second rate. David Wood regurgitated nonsense. I've no, seen but that. Over there, you have a microphone sure. and you invite Muslims to debate you, correct? Sure. You do that. Sure. So now's the right time sure. to debate. And I will. You will. But I'm, I'm observing first. Let me observe. Let me observe. I like to fish. Okay. Uh, do you want to debate me? Thank you. Me, I'm not qualified. I'm not oh, qualified. To okay. debate. That's why I'm saying this is the. Right I'm not qualified to ever debate. I'm not debate. All right. All right. I'll be back, man. Yeah, inshallah. I look forward to interrupting one of your debates. Sure. <laughs>